It is definitely a feel-good type of day. So from the 26th of October all the way through to the 9th of November, you need to make your way to the Artscape Opera House. Why? Because the Cape Town City Ballet is presenting an exciting trilogy of works called Satori. And here to tell us more about it is celebrated UK choreographer Kenneth Tyndall, everybody. Give him a big <laughs> South African welcome. It's Good early, morning. but we can still applaud, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we, we love the energy. We love having Cape Town City Ballet in our we studio. Do. And it's always wonderful to watch them kind of warming up. Then we know something special is on the way. Satori so does sound incredible. Three inspiring works all wrapped up into one. Two mm. newly staged, as I understand it, alongside an original commissioned work. How do you go about creating a work like this? And Because and, obviously that's a large part of that responsibility falls on, on your creative shoulders. Where do you even begin? Yeah, that's a, it's a really good question. So for me, especially unusual because I don't know the company yet. They're brand new to me. So we're we're 40 or so individuals that have never met and we have to find a common ground and then a way to move forward and create this work. So the first thing we do is I, I go into the room and I deliver the material, my language, some of my steps. Uh, and it's kind of like an audition process where you're trying to work out the room and you're trying to get a handle of how it's going to go and who you think can deliver uh, your vision and your ambition. So the first couple of days is just to get to know each other. And then after that, um, somehow the energies and the people start to present themselves. And a big, a big thing for me is that the people in the room should be utilised yeah. and should be a part of the project. I shouldn't just come and dictate a, a everything. True a true collaboration yeah. is the way forward. Yeah. There is an emotional conversation. You, you ultimately are telling an emotional story here and you've got to kind of connect. It's got to be authentic. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I think, you know, in, in its nature, some of it's abstract because it's what we call a triple bill, three different yeah. pieces. But with there is story behind so everything. Movement doesn't just happen. Yes. It is inspired by yeah. something. And so you're right, yeah, there's an emotional conversation. Yeah. Well, what on the place. street is that Satori is a uh, athletic and breathtaking combination of classical and neoclassical ballet with a twist. Yes. What goes into <laughs> putting together a production of this magnitude? Um, so, so, so much work. It starts yeah. very early on. Um, not only the creation uh, period itself, where the company and the dancers have to work with three different choreographers wow. uh, and the time that it takes for them to make those ballets, actually mm. generate all of that material, yeah. rehearse it, get it clean. It's the behind the scenes with the lighting, the music, the mm. staging. Yeah, so it's an awful lot of work. <laughs> and also, you're working with dancers that have trained their entire lives, wow. have honed their bodies and their physiques. Yeah to be able to deliver what you're asking. I, I'm glad you raised that question because we've spoken to many choreographers and, and kind of dance troupe mm. leaders who are commenting on the evolution of the physicality of dance. Mm. So the way that even your classics are being performed now compared to 15, 20 yeah. years ago has changed because of the, of the sheer athleticism. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something that you try to, that inspires you? Is it always looking at the ballet or is it looking at sometimes what you can do with these amazing physical, um, kind of beings. Well, you've, you've hit the nail on the head and absolutely that there has been a massive evolution in what the human body is capable of you know Usain Bolt running what he runs for sure football players what they are covering now in uh, pitch st statistics right so the body has moved a long way even in the last sort of 20 years so it is absolutely trying to capitalize on that physicality and all the borders of the dance are shifting, so ballet has contemporary on it, neoclassical, hip-hop influence. There's so much to see in the internet and yeah. so much variety that it's spilling over. It's one of the most exciting times in dance, wow. yeah. That's amazing. I, I've got to ask, that being said, are you the kind of choreographer that, now knowing what we, we know about your, yeah. your love of the physicality, do dancers go, Okay, it's, it's yeah. a Kenneth, it's a Kenneth yeah. number, let's do it. I mean, I, I have become quite notorious for that and I will push them to their physical yeah. extremes. There's a point it gets to yeah. and I think that's the starting point. Ooh. And then it's where Ooh. we can go beyond that, yeah, exactly. That's amazing. Well, Cape Town City Ballet is one of the longest standing ballet companies in the world. It is, it's incredible. What can um, viewers, what can the people, the audience that are going to go and see it expect from this production? I think what you've got is the perfect mix. You've got something for the traditionalists, yeah. You've got something brand new and exciting in that more contemporary mould that should appeal to a younger, more urban audience, perhaps. And then in the, uh, the, the final piece, um, I think you're going to see 
old meets new is the best way to describe it. Love it. Yeah, the traditional but in the evolution yeah. of that. Yeah, the traditional but in the evolution. That mm. is absolutely amazing. Well, you have wet our appetites. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Kenneth. The 26th of October <laughs> all the way through to the 9th of uh, November. You can catch Satori that is happening at the Artscape Opera House. Like uh, Kenneth said, it's absolutely amazing. It's breathtaking. It's athletic. It's the old meeting the new and it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Do not miss it. You can catch your tickets anywhere from 150 Rand to 300 Rand. And uh, yeah, do not miss it. It's going to be amazing.